Tip number one, and this is probably the most important tip for going into the SAT math section, is that the test is about efficiency. It's not just about solving questions, doing math, and getting the problems right. It's about solving questions and approaching them the best and quickest way possible. So what do I mean by this? Some examples are sometimes a question will give you an expression and it'll say, what is this expression? What's X plus Y? And you may be tempted to find what X is, what Y is, and then evaluate the expression. Instead, you wanna go directly for what is X plus Y and see if you can get that right off the bat. Next, a lot of questions require you to just think conceptually rather than do work. So you could spend a lot of time, you know, evaluating expression, doing some math, or if you understand the equation, you understand what they're talking about you can just conceptually think about it eliminate answer choices and get to the right one lastly a lot of times questions tell you what they're looking for in the answer choices so if you're stuck or don't know what to do look at the answer choices and it can give you a clue of what am i supposed to do what method am i supposed to use or what do the answers just look like in general i'm going to say it again because it's so important the sat math section is about efficiency tip number two is you always want to identify what is being asked for first so this often means that when you look at a question you want to skip all the information you want to skip all the text and go to the last sentence first here they're often going to say what is x or tell you what they're asking for and skipping right to this part does a couple things. First, it saves you some time. You don't have to read through the question, look at the information, kind of start to confuse yourself. And two, it sets your intentions with the problem. So you know exactly what you're looking for right off the bat. Then you can go back to the question, back to the information, and start to look for the details and use the numbers that you actually need to use. Reading the last sentence first, looking at the answer choices, and trying to get a sense of what they're looking for before you do all the work is gonna help you cut through the noise of questions. And my last tip, and this is a little counterintuitive with what I've been saying, is that you do not want to rush on the SAT. The SAT is not a test about rushing. As I said before, it's a test about efficiency. So what this means is with every question, you kind of want to build some momentum and get into a state of flow. So if you know how to solve a problem, solve it, solve it in the best way possible, move on to another one you can solve. If you've run into a problem you don't know how to solve, I would skip that one and come back to it. Ideally, what you wanna do is start getting questions right so you build that confidence, you get a better mindset, and then when you do need to go back to questions you don't understand, you can take the time to solve them. Never feel like you have to dive into a question, start doing work, or you need to you know, sit there and really wrestle with the information. Instead, you wanna efficiently solve the problems that you know how to solve. This builds that positive momentum, it gives you the confidence and helps you think clearly. Then you can go to the questions that you don't know how to solve, take some time with them and maybe, you know, use information you saw in other questions to help you work it out. I hope these tips help you go into the SAT with a positive mindset. And if it did, please leave a like on the video and good luck on your SAT.